Good morning, Bobcats and all my other OCPS teachers. Brad Streffler here again, and today we're going to talk about a tool called Nearpod. So Nearpod is an online presentation tool that if you use it in a classroom setting, you can display your screen onto all your students' screens. Or at a at home setting, which is obviously what a lot of us are in right now, uh, you can do a self-paced lesson for students. The way it works is you take your existing presentation, whether it's a PowerPoint or a Google slide presentation, and you add in interactive components like polls and videos and other websites and quizzes and things like that directly into the Nearpod. And then you present it out to kids with a code. So we're going to start today with how to create a Nearpod from an existing Google slide deck. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way to use Nearpod. So if you have a slide presentation, I would add it directly into uh, Google Docs, Google Slides. You can convert it from PowerPoint or just make it in Google Slides, which is mostly what I do now. Um, and then we're going to turn it into a Nearpod. So we're going to start by going to the add-ons menu. And then we're going to click Get Add-ons, which is right here. From there, it'll have a search box, and we're going to go ahead and just search for Nearpod. So here's Nearpod right here. We're going to click on that, and we're going to click Install. You're going to have to confirm. You're going to have to confirm your account, a couple other steps. But just approve, 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 and then we'll get to where we need to be. Once it's all approved, we'll go and close this window out. Now we're going to go back to add-ons and click on Nearpod again and hit open Nearpod. Once this loads, you will should log into your account automatically, but you may have to log in and then you'll be ready to add features. For this example, I've gone ahead and just done a simple slideshow that I would use with my students as an uh, intro to computer science that I did with my students a while ago. Um, and so. I have a scale with some evidence of what levels I want them to be at at the end. And instead of just throwing this up on the screen, since I won't be there, I'm going to have them do a poll on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a poll right here. We're going to say, where are you on the learning scale? We're going to do one. Two, we'll add two more answer options, three and four, and then hit save. Now, when my students go through this, they'll be going on their own pace, so they'll be able to look at the previous slide and read the scale, figure out where they are, and then they'll be able to rate themselves on the scale on the next slide. Simple and easy. So on this next page, I have them go ahead and says go to scratch.mit.edu. So to make things easy so everything's in one place, I'm going to go ahead and just add that on here so that on the next slide, it'll automatically take them where they need to go. So we're going to say web content down at the bottom. And in the URL, I'm just going to type scratch.mit.edu. I want to go ahead and test it just to make sure that works. Yep, that's where I wanted them to go. Perfect. And now scroll down and hit save. For the last one, right here, we go back to our learning scale. I'm going to do something different with this one. Because our district pays for the premium version of Nearpod and OCPS, we can do a draw it. And this is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click convert to draw it. Sometimes it may ask you to re-prompt your account, reconnect. If it does, just go ahead and approve. So now when students see this, they'll be able to see the scale and they'll be able to draw directly on it. So I may just go ahead and insert another text box that just says, circle your place on the learning scale, just so they know what they're supposed to be doing. There we go. So now they'll be able to circle where they are on the learning scale and they'll be good to go. So now I've created this as its own session and my final step in order to get to presenting it to students is to hit save and go to Nearpod. 
In my next video, I will show you how to publish out the Nearpod you've created to students and share that with them. As always, if you have questions, you can always reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you out there, and I hope everybody's having a great day.